Good day, fine people. I hope you're well. Now, don't take this personally, but go to hell. That's the name of this game. On the ZX Spectrum 48K, we'll be having a look at, published by Triple Six in 1985. It's a maze-type horror game where you must guide a, well, a, a man through a maze to try and escape from hell, and he does this by collecting six crosses and then must find a hidden room to find the master of hell and, I presume, uh, defeat him. It has got a sequel called Soft and Cuddly, but I think that's just a silly name. Uh, in 1987 so we'll see how far we get au revoir is it goodbye right here we go and there's a big dragon there you see my energy on the left that will go down if we collide into any certain graphics oh my god or enemies so avoid getting hit by stuff walk through the maze try and find six crosses and good luck big nose right now this there's gonna be some amazing imagery in this I, I'd imagine if you had this one back in the day let me know that looks like a wall in the way uh, there. So keep an eye on the energy. Crosses underneath. It says, well, there's nothing there. I think they're all different colours. As usual, this is my first go on the thing, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, these reviews are always from the standpoint of your first or second go. There's a spider. Do we die by... Oh, man, this... Oh, it's got clobbered there. There's no, there's no shortage of stuff to kill you. Now, I'm told in the instructions you can gain extra energy. Oh, there's a face getting crushed there. I hope that's not you. Uh, you can gain extra energy by shooting stuff. Energy's gone low for some reason. I've bumped into something. Oh, God, more skulls. This this game, the, the imagery is so over the top, it reminds me of the original Evil Dead film, if you've seen uh, that. So Evil Dead fans would like this. Uh, the Evil Dead game wasn't particularly good. If this was called Evil Dead, I'd love that. And if this was Ash walking around everywhere. I like this game. Why? I don't know. It's very retro. It's 1985 and it's over the top horror. Superb! Now, I, I have got a poke for this game, but I don't do very well, where we just do a bit of exploration. But as I understand it, some walls will kill you, some gates or walkways you can walk through. Don't crush your face with spikes, that's what I've learned, anyway. Right, go, go, go. I'm interested to see how the sequel plays this, but at the moment, I'm liking this. If I had this back in the day, I would have gone back quite a few times, just because, well, because I feel like I shouldn't really be playing the thing. It... It's all your classic horrors, isn't it? It's Exorcist, it's Evil Dead, and I've died, I've exploded by hitting a wall. Oh, I don't like that. Every time you die, it looks like you have to start right from the beginning again. So that's one bad thing. There's a gallows up the top there. There's a skull being sawn in half. He doesn't look like he's having a great time, but he's detached from his body anyway. So I don't suppose it's a, a, a big thing. He's probably, he's pro oh man, he's probably regretting his life choices as I bash again. Yes, this this would be good for a few few minutes go each time. Right, hang on a minute. Down, deeper and down into this hell hole. So be good in your in your life. Don't risk going to hell. This bloke's been sent there in error, I think, and we've got to guide him out the maze and get through. I don't know. Whoop, it's goodbye, but I will put a poke on now. I don't know um, where the hidden room is. Hopefully we can come up to it. But we've got a poke on now. I'm not going to complete the game, but we'll just go exploring to see all the imagery we can of the game. And I reckon there's some, some mighty, mighty enemies about the place. So I should be able to walk through walls now. There we go, without losing any energy at all. Hooray for us. Don't know how many rooms this one has got. Uh, I do feel like I'm in a nightmare scenario. You have unlimited uh, things you can fire at people. Let's go through here. So I won't be doing any attempt to do this properly here. If you have completed this game, then let me know in the comment section below. Or if in real life you've gone to hell and escaped, let us know as well. What tips have you got for not being caught on fire and avoiding all this sort of stuff? Oh, there's a white cross there. Good. Apparently you can replete your energy by getting, uh, by staying on it. Anyway, that's one cross in white, so that's one out of six. So we've completed one sixth of the game. Don't know where the hidden room is. It's vast, this 1874. So that's just a gravestone, a bloke coming up from the grave, then thinking, oh, uh, you're thinking better of it and going back down again. I mean, he's been buried in hell. That's blooming unlucky, isn't it? Uh, what's that? Looks like a set of bongos or maybe a heap of potatoes. But anyway, let's walk around there gingerly. I'm trying to make, uh, uh, have a look at all the things I'm trying to get. There's a bloke on a stretching machine there. Good if you want to be a bit taller. Uh, he doesn't look like he's enjoying it. If that was at the gym, I'd definitely give it a miss. He's a very tall fellow. Right, there's a spider again. I don't, I don't know what the spiders have done to go to hell. They've just got eight legs, mind their own business. Rude. 
Have a look at all the stuff. Yellow skulls. There's a lot moving on the screen at the same time. It's very, very busy. Doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. So there's lots going on for 40k in this maze horror, sort of like nightmare scenario. I would, yeah, I would have been impressed with this one. Lots of colour. It's a bit garish. Well, when I say a bit garish, very garish. A couple of blinking eyes. I would have liked them. Um, I always like this. I always like different room names and stuff. But it makes it easier to navigate and find out where you are. Don't know if there was any mazes, uh, well, maps published at the time for this one. If there were, but they look pretty amazing. I think that person's been swimming up the swimming paths with no goggles on. Eyes gone very, very uh, red. What a way to die. There's a green cross over there. The green cross code to cross the road. Um, yes, there's the face bug getting his face crushed again. I might have to do a bit of cheaty work, or should I just find the right way round? Anyway, so it looks like the six crosses are all different colours, which is quite handy for the ZX Spectrum's colour scheme. Right, now where else can we go? I don't know if these this sound's supposed to be footprints at all. Not sure. Uh, the guy doesn't speak to me in any particular hurry. Probably he's not scared after all. I'm trying to do this, although I can go through walls, I, I'll try and do it a little bit legitimately uh, there. But there's a lot to do here. I don't think many people would have completed it on their first or second go. I don't know if it came out in the Commodore 64 or not, not sure. Was the Red Cross there. Yes, um, so this is being played due to a recommendation. If you were the person that recommended it, then well done you. I've probably come to the sequel soft and cuddly at some point too. So we've got two crosses out of six, three crosses out of six. That's half the game done. Uh, we won't be completing all of it. Let's just see if we can find the hidden room. It says it's off to the left in the instructions. Well, that's what I've written down, actually. From, I don't know. I might have written it down wrong from the instructions. Who knows? Good, right. So, you know, if you haven't watched the Evil Dead trilogy of movies, I highly recommend them. Bought them at the back end of uh, last year, 2021, on Blu-ray. Well worth it. The second one's supposed to be a remake of the original first uh, film, but anyway, I liked them both. Buff, biff, baff, boff. That, as I say, they're extremely over the top, and that reminds me a little bit of this game. It's over the top and for no reason. There's lots of stuff. What's that? An eyeball flying around? It's crazy talk. Whoa. So to navigate the maze is tricky. You can't walk through walls. Oh, look. That, this must be the hidden bit here. This must be the secret guardian, man. Once you've got um, all six crosses, you can you can beat him you know, to death. So he, he looks like a very unusual gentleman. Uh, looks like a thinner version of Matt Berry, although uh, he's gone a bit green. Uh, there's there's uh, there's a bloke jumping out of a graveyard again with two keys uh, on him. Right. Uh, there's never a, there's, in these portals that open up in horror films to hell. There's never a portal opens up to heaven, is there? Don't go down there. It's a portal to to heaven. I I jump down there in a heartbeat. No, don't know you can pick up that one. Well, anyway, that's that's the last one you you have to get. Yeah, that would be a good film, wouldn't it? A portal to heaven opens underneath your washing machine. Jump down there and you're in heaven. Well, I know. I'm sure God have something to say about that as I walk through the wall like a ghost. Biff. So we've got a white cross, a green cross, and a red cross. I guess the other ones would be yellow then. Uh, magenta, and maybe that dark blue. Yellow, yellow, magenta, and dark blue. That's, oh, there's the yellow one there. Just above that dragony thing, if you wanted to get that. Right. Can I go, can I go around the top? I know I could walk through the wall, but if you go around the top, this is this is the way you should be doing it. Hmm. I don't know. There's a there's a lot there's a lot of uh, enemies trying to put you off. Hell seems very very uh, packed. So what can we say about this game first of all? Uh, well, a lot of garish imagery. Sound could be a lot better. It's getting on my brain a, a little bit. Could give young kids a nightmare. I like the May sort of element. I've got the size of the character just about right there to give you as much as they possibly can on the screen. Can't think of anything too similar to this. It was a little bit uh, slow, but only because there's probably so much moving in uh, one go. I don't think parents would have really approved of their kids uh, playing this uh, for too long over and over. Uh, it would have made them the rounded, uh, rounded individuals they are today, most probably. Not a classic game, but it's doing a lot. And, you know, it's of an era, and I, I approve. I would have played this quite a bit. Uh, there, we've, already got, we've already got the Red Cross, Nick. Anyway, we can redo the energy. I'll turn, I'll turn the poke off now if I can do. 
Right, okay, I think the Pope's off according to that thing. So uh, any contact with enemies or the side, we then should die. And that should, uh, well, it's, it's pretty much good for a review. You've, if you've watched this far in, then well done, uh, you. Uh, thank you to the subscribers. Uh, please consider subscribing if you watched this far in. If you haven't already, that's the only way the channel uh, can grow. It's a numbers uh, game. Thank you for watching this far. And massive thank you as always to the members. Without you, members, uh, then it just wouldn't. It wouldn't exist. Um, if you want to be a member as well, gain access to the member section. See what uh, game is going to be um, covered in the week going forward. Then uh, please hit that uh, join button. Starts off very, very low. But if you want to go that bit further on the second tier and above, uh, then I can give you a shout out if you want me to for anything that you, uh, you're doing. And if we do a, a Friday chat thing or a Saturday chat thing, I will be sure to give you a shout out. Some weeks it doesn't happen. If time catches up with you, most weeks it does. Right, I, I'm just going around in circles now. Uh, obviously, the uh, as you notice, I've turned the poke off, but I'm still not dying. So it looks like once it's activated, you can't unactivate it. So we might have to artificially end the game. But I've shown you, I've shown you a large number of screens. Um, a lot of graphics are repeated, but it's different enough in different orders, so you could try and remember where the uh, map is if you can do. I don't know what those keys are. So hopefully there's some trained mechanics in hell because this looks like it look, uh, takes a lot of working. Maybe the demons have got uh, engineering degrees. If you're a demon or a devil with an engineering degree, then comment below uh, what university or BTEC place did you actually get that degree? And do you wish that you maybe apply for a job somewhere else? You know, quite often in life you only get to make one decision and then uh, yes. Right, go, 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 through the fire. There's that bloke on the stretching machine again. Maybe it's because he wasn't tall enough to go on the rise at Disneyland. And this is the only thing he could think of so he can go on the uh, the roller coaster. That bloke's idea, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe he went to a restaurant that was five pounds a head and he thought if he cuts his head in half, he can get him for two pounds fifty. Maybe that's his thinking. Everyone's got different crazy ideas that may or may not work. I don't think his idea is going to work, but don't tell him. He'll find out sooner or later. Go to hell. Oh, well, you know. Uh, yes, no, no, not too many people are having fun in this place. Uh, that red dragon's there. Sometimes he looks happy. He looks like he needs a trip to the dentist or to uh, me. I don't know I'm going to complete it, but I think I saw all the crosses though, didn't I? I was just uh, had a spate where I was trying to do things properly. So we'll leave it there, because the Pope, uh, I'm just going to live forever in hell, and um, maybe I deserve it, I don't know. Anyway, don't have nightmares, folks, it's just an 8 bit game. So hope you like to have a look at that one. That was Go to Hell on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Triple Six in 1985. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or horror based, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye